So, hey guys, welcome back to another video. It feels like I haven't sat down and made a video in ages. A bit out of breath, but we're just gonna get straight on with the video. And I don't know if I'm like in the middle of the frame or not, so we're just gonna go with it and hope for the best. So today I am filming another collab. I'm sorry I have done like a collab two videos ago, but <laughs> oh well. Today I'm doing a collab with Holly. Her username on Instagram is Holly underscore Erica underscore. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I will put it here somewhere. Um, we are both doing the same video. It is how to how I edit my Instagram photos. Keep watching and I hope you enjoy. Um the link to Holly's Instagram and YouTube will do, will be down below so make sure to go and check out her video, her channel and her Instagram. So if you can see this is her Instagram. Um I'm not sure which theme she's gonna be showing you how to edit the photos from but it's going to be a great video. Okay, now I've got a couple photos which I can choose to edit. So I've got this sunset photo but I'm not going to edit that one just yet. I'm going to... It's screen recording? Okay, screen recording. So first I just go into my photos folder and the app I use to edit is VSCO. Okay, so yeah, I either do C8 or C9. Um, which other one I think looks best. So for this one I'm going to go like C9 and then I either up the exposure or, or turn it down a bit. For this I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Actually I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> Sat saturation sometimes I do. For this one I'm just going to put it up to 5 and I do like temperature sometimes. See the difference or none. Sometimes I just put it up like that. Skin tone, sure, why not? Let's add some of that. Fade, I do this sometimes, but like not all the time. And same with green, but I'm not going to do it for this photo. I'm going to turn the fade right down. And then sometimes I will go in and like just adjust the photos. What's it called? Um, I don't really know. It just says adjust, like crop the photo or whatever. So I'm going to crop it a little bit maybe. Mm. maybe just like that I think and then I go into a random thing like that just the contrast or exposure or whatever and screenshot it and then crop it again so there's no like black lines in it and then that's what I do because um, the filter I used you can't like it's not free so yeah, I'm going to edit this one as well so that you can see how it looks with the my face in it. See, I never know which theme I want to go for, so I just, you know, wing it and just try and hope my theme matches. I'm not going to use saturation on that one because it looks a bit odd. And sometimes I use this, but I'm not going to use it in this one because... Makes my face look weird. <clears throat> Grain. Oh my god. <laughs> Fade a little bit, maybe. It feels like there's something missing. Did I do exposure? Yeah. Like that. Maybe a bit of saturation. Like one. Okay. I think we're done. So I'm just going to screenshot it again. So. That's. My hand looks really white in there, let's try and crop that out a bit. <laughs> Why does it look so white? Um, whatever, we'll just crop that out later maybe. I don't know. See, this is the problem with editing, sometimes it can go a bit wrong. So we're going to delete those and add in the newly edited photos, that's what I do. And then see here, there's two sunset photos. Um, 
I'll edit one of them just to show you guys how I edit different photos as well. So this filter looks really nice with it. Um, but I, I can't see all of it, so it's kind of hard to choose. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go with this one, and I usually turn the exposure right down and the saturation up just a little bit. Um, temperature up. We'll turn that up a little bit too. Um, we'll just keep that on like two. Fade a little bit. Just like, oh, that's like not even faded. Okay, just a bit like that. And then green, I'll just do that a little bit. And then we screenshot it. And put it like that. And then I'm just going to have one of those sunset photos because you see they're practically the same. So we're just going to add that one in now. And that is how I edit my Instagram photos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And comment if you do any of these steps to edit your photos. My Instagram is on its sof. Um, all my social medias are down below. Um, make sure to go and follow my Instagram if you liked this video and let me know if you want any more like this, like how I edit my thumbnails maybe. If you enjoyed this video, it feels like I haven't sat down and filmed in ages and I'm so happy to be filming again and I can't wait to edit this video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!